Okay, then that was majorly nerve wracking at the start, but got there and settled in after a couple of minutes. Morning Jabbers, how the devil are you? Well, excellent, yes, me too, thanks for asking. A bit of a damp one, but other than that, I'm pretty good. It's uh, it's raining outside, which, I mean, is damp. I don't mean I've just wet myself or anything like that. Uh, anyway, today is the day. It is the day that I probably do wet myself a little bit later on and definitely wear brown trousers. I am going to be lecturing a room full of master's students and I am bricking it. Let's go and hit the gym and uh, try and forget about it for a little while, shall we? Okay then, so some of you might be wondering why I've got an elastic band around my knees in this exercise. I have a bit of an issue where I tore my cruciate ligament many years ago and I am trying to make it stronger. Now there's an issue with my knee, as you can see, it now and again pops inwards. And so to try and stop that from happening, I'm using the band to push out against. I don't want my knee to go outwards, but I also don't want my knee to come inwards either. So I'm trying to train my muscles again to work in the right way and stop my inside of my leg, letting it just collapse away inside me as I go down into the bottom of the squat. So that's why I'm using the elastic band. There you go, you've got an answer now. Gym session done, jobs are good and my legs are hurting a lot and um, did the calf thing again, you know, like I did in the video last week, I did that calf superset exercise again today. Wow, we, we put the weights a little bit higher as well. My calves were killing me, absolutely screaming after about one and a half sets, <laughs> and we did three. So that's how painful that was. Anyway, I am famished now, absolutely ravenous. I'm gonna make some breakfast, I don't know what, maybe some porridge and some eggs and ham, and then I'm gonna have a bath, chill out, practice my lecture a couple of times and then hit the road. So let's crack on with today. So it's the four P's at the moment. Something I learned when I used to do semi-professional magic. Practice, practice and practice. And when you finish practicing, practice a little bit more. So that's exactly what I'm doing this morning. I'm going through my presentation, uh, all about the different brands that I've worked with in the past, telling the story of who I am and where I used to work and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's scary. It is scary to do this this in front of people and tell my story and then talk a little bit about music and fashion and then videos as well and how brands are using videos to be better ways of selling and not using the, your typical advert where somebody goes, hey, want to buy a remote control? Bang, buy my remote control. It's the best remote. People just don't do that anymore. People are a little bit more trying to play on your subconscious. So they'll make a video of somebody wearing nothing but Chanel clothes. But they'll never mention Chanel until the very end of the video. So you don't really know who it's for until you get to the end of the film. So it doesn't really, it's not really there to sell. You might see the clothes when you go out and you go, that, that was in that video. That, that, or at least it looks like it was. I really like that. And then you get it or what have you. And, and yeah, so oh, this is, uh, is nerve wracking stuff. It really is. I think they're gonna come out of this with, with some bits and pieces. I, I really hope they are. Uh, keep your fingers firmly crossed for me. Uh, in fact, if you can put a fingers crossed thing down in the section below, that would be really good. And um, yeah, we will we will see. I'm going to leave here in about an hour and a half. And uh, <laughs> I think I'll be going to the toilet quite a lot before then. I'm bricking it, really bricking it. Oh, I had to run back to the car. Oh, I am sorted. I've got everything I need, including my passport, which I forgot. Right, let's hit the road and go and do a lecture. I'm ready, kind of. This has suddenly got very, very real indeed. Welcome to Southampton University in Winchester. Okay then, that was majorly nerve wracking at the start, but got there and settled in after a couple of minutes and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm hooked. I want to do more of it. Absolutely want to do more of that. That was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed doing that. It was just very interesting. And, I'm sorry, I don't know where I'm going, so I need my, uh, my sat nav on, but that was just so much fun so much fun i want to do it again i want to do it now it was just brilliant and the kids were um quite receptive as well actually 
Thank you. The kids were quite receptive and they took part in the parts I wanted them to take part in. And yeah, oh man, I really enjoyed that. They're going to invite me back, which is brilliant. So it obviously went okay. And they might use me for some other bits and pieces too. Brilliant. Anyway, right now I need to get myself home and I, I don't know where I'm going. So I'm, I'm going to follow my sat nav and I will see you guys when I get back to Newbury. I'm home and I still haven't come down yet. I'm absolutely buzzing. I just, oh, it was so much fun. I loved doing that. It was so cool. I'm gonna try and get myself some more lectures, I think. Get myself on the lecture circuit. It was just, I really, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. Anyway, so um, obviously I couldn't film the event, but I did take a photograph of the room beforehand, uh, kind of just as the students were arriving. If you want to see it, go and check out my Twitter, uh, Stop Jabbering On. And I did film a little bit of the lecture, but it was more what I was showing on the screen than showing the, the class, because that was a little bit awkward to just stand there with a camera like that filming. So here's what I filmed on the screen when I was using Casey's video. So it's, it's not brilliant, but uh, it gives you an idea of how big the screen was that I was showing my presentation on. And although I didn't ask, um, I hope it was okay to, to use your content, Casey. I, I, if, you, if you mind, then sorry, I won't do it again. Um, but I, yeah, just so cool. And so, and they came out of it with something. That's the main thing, is that they actually, a few people came up afterwards and said, oh yeah, that was really cool, and thank you, and that they'd learned something. And I, oh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Maybe I should think about being a teacher, I don't know. Maybe just doing it now and again is, is brilliant, but maybe being a teacher on a full-time basis, that must be stressful. I'm not sure I could do it on a full-time basis. Man, that's so good. So good. I loved every minute of it. So tonight, I'm going out with some friends for dinner, and I'm just getting the vlog all mixed down and rendered for putting up tonight, which will probably take about eight or nine hours, because that's how quick my internet is at the moment. So while that's rendering down, I've got myself my jelly beans, which I'm munching my way through at the moment, and I'm watching the latest episode of uh, Mr. Bucker, doing vlogmas and then I've got a couple of other vlogs I'm gonna watch and then I'm gonna head out and go out for a really nice meal. Apparently this place that we're going to is a bit posh so I hope it's not expensive otherwise I'll have to get the other guys to pay for me. Super times, vlogs are uploading even though it is gonna take 536 minutes. I don't know what that is in hours, I need to work that out. What's that, about eight hours I think it is? Something like that, slightly less. But anyway, it's gonna take a long time to upload, seven hours and 40 odd minutes and I'm now going to go out and have dinner with my friend Leslie and my mate Mark. I think you've met Mark a couple of times on the vlogs, so let's go. Just waiting on my lift and it's cold and wet. I hope my taxi gets here quickly. And when I say taxi, I mean Leslie because she's driving today so I can have a beer. Taxi for Hargreaves, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am absolutely shattered. Really lovely evening, good food, good company. Shame Zianna wasn't there, but she has to work until late most evenings. So yeah, really, really nice night. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. I've got a long day again tomorrow. I'm doing more photography tomorrow morning. I've got editing to do. I'm gonna meet up with George and I've got a Christmas party in the evening with a client. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys bright and early down the gym. Don't forget, if you're brand new, please do subscribe. Check out what I was doing one, two, three or four years ago. Click on the mystery video, see where that takes you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Sweet dreams, sleep tight, be healthy, dial the bear bugs bite, and all those things that I normally say, but in a very different order. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.